Hey guys, so um, I got another important video to put out. One that's uh, aimed at the people at Disney and Marvel Studios, specifically Mr. Bob Chapek and Mr. Kevin Feige. Mr. Chapek, Mr. Feige, I wanted to thank you very both deep from the bottom of my heart that um, you've announced dead and confirmed Deadpool 3 at Marvel Studios to be R-rated and come out September 6, 2024 with Hugh Jackman's Wolverine coming back. And I'm glad to hear that Werewolf by Night, the upcoming Disney Plus MCU Halloween special dropping Friday, is very violent and gory with a little bit of blood spewing despite a TV-14 rating and a black and white um, setting that allowed for you to get away with that. So now um, now that you are apparently becoming more comfortable and to lean with more adult stuff on Disney+, Plus, which I would like to thank you, Mr. Chapik, for pushing hard, I really need you to ensure that you don't back away from that by, by doing what you can to ensure that Daredevil Board Again, when it hits Disney Plus in 2024, is TVMA rated. Because I don't think you understand this, and I, maybe you do, but I'm, I hope I'm, I do, I just don't want to be wrong about this, but there is a lot of pressure to get Daredevil Born Again to really work for everyone. Even the hardcore fans of the Netflix series that's on Disney Plus now. That's why I really don't want the Save Daredevil Born Again Save Daredevil movement to feel like they were cheated because while they are glad that you're making this series 18 episodes to allow for more time with Daredevil and Kingpin, they are a little concerned that you might be afraid to go with the TV MA ring because of some people who are not against creativity and evolving tonally and for more adult audiences, specifically the parental TV council. And I need you to cut them loose and don't listen to them because if you can allow Deadpool to be R-rated in the MCU along with making an R TVMA Marvel Zombies animated series for Disney+, Plus, Daredevil should be given equal due process treatment. Um, and finally, more towards Mr. Chapek, I really need you to do everything you can to make Disney's Strange World a sleeper box office hit and you can do that by giving it an IMAX release alongside Black Panther 2 when it comes out for Thanksgiving along with airing an IMAX exclusive sneak peek of Strange World before Wakanda Forever. So please, Mr. Chapek, make sure you do that. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.